Hi guys, Dane here, and today I'm going to be doing a quick review of Small Dreams of a Scorpion. So this is a poetry collection by Spike Milligan. It differs from his other stuff in that this one has some more like adult themes, it's much more serious and kind of less playful, deals with mental health and stuff, but because of that I think it makes it much more interesting. Dane reads... They are pretty short um, poems in here, and as usual with the poetry collection, I'm just going to go through and read some of the poems I tabbed out, share my overall thoughts and rating at the end. There's a mini blurb as well. Here's a volume of Millie poems on pollution, population and conservation. Serious subjects overlaid by the inimitable Milligan humour. Uh, although, as I was saying, there's probably less humour in it than you might expect. There's also some illustrations who were drawn by one of his family members. Does he say who? He did say who, I don't know. Yeah, Laura Milligan. I don't know what relation she is. Probably his daughter, I guess. Um, so I'm just going to read some of these out. So, Manic Depression. This was written at St Luke's Hospital Psychiatric Wing, 1953-54. The pain is too much. A thousand grim winters grow in my head. In my ears, the sound of the coming dead. All seasons, all sane, all living, all pain. No opiate to lock still my senses. Only left the body locked tenses. Here's Opus One with this little illustration. This silent call you make, a silence so raging loud. I fear the world knows its meaning. If you fill every corner of a room, where can I look? If I close my eyes, the silence becomes louder. There is no escape from you. The only way out is in. And that was written on a train to Bournemouth, February 1967. Here we have Oberon. Uh, there is a mythical figure who I can't tell you exactly who he is because I don't remember. I know he's mentioned in Shakespeare, I think. The flowers in my garden grow down. Their colour is pain. Their fragrance sorrow. Into my eyes grow their roots, feeling for tears. To nourish the black, hopeless rose within me. And that was written during a nervous breakdown in Bournemouth, February 1967. Uh, here we have to be or not to be. This one's a little bit more fun, I think. Uh, and there's a handwritten version of it. When I was small and five, I found a pencil sharpener alive. He lay in lonely grasses looking for work. I bought a pencil for him. He ate and ate until all that was left was a pile of wood dust. It was the happiest pencil sharpener I ever had. All right, here we have Goliath. This was written in Bayswater, London, 1971. And this is actually included in the rear cover as part of the blurb, but I didn't want to read it out until I got to it, you know? They chopped down a hundred foot trees to make chairs. I bought one. I am six foot one inch. When I sit in the chair, I'm four foot two. Did they really chop down a hundred foot tree to make me look shorter? Yes, they did, Spike. All right, and finally, Spring Song, March 18th, 1972. Another little illustration here. And this one goes, Spring came haunting my garden today. A song of cold flowers was on the grass. Though I could not see it, I knew the air was coloured and new songs were in the old blackbird's throat. The ground trembled at the thought of what was to come. It was not my garden today, it belonged to itself. At the dawn smell of it, my children fled the house and went living in that primitive dimension that only they and gardens understand. My dog too lost his mind and ran in circle after canine circle trying to catch himself. And you know what? He did. It was that kind of a day. Written in China to avoid income tax. So those are the only poems I wanted to share with you from this one. Again, they're all quite short poems. There are probably about 30, 40 poems in here. Um, but yeah, I enjoyed it probably more than most Spike Milligan books that I've read. It didn't have any racism in it, which is quite nice because Spikey tends to do a bit of the old casual racism. I think part of it's a generational thing and he picked up a lot during the, the British Army during the Second World War because British people are racist. I'm British, I can say that. I'm racist against British people. They're all cunts. So, Small Dreams of a Scorpion by Spike Milligan, 4 out of 5, would recommend, especially if you're a Spike Milligan fan, or I guess if you're interested in like writings about mental health, because again, as you can tell, there's a lot about like nervous breakdowns and stuff in here. So there we have it, that's what I made of Small Dreams of a Scorpion, this was a small review of Small Dreams of a Scorpion, as always don't forget to hit that small like button, leave a small comment in the small comment section below, hit that small subscribe button for more, and I will see you soon for another small video, thanks a lot, Scorpion.